Mr. Vickers claims in the end it's duty that makes you happy. Both men left royal duties in pursuit of happiness with American divorcees. He claims the Duke of Sussex has a similar sadness to ex-King Edward VIII. Prince Harry has looked thoroughly miserable since Meg exit, Hugo Vicker says. A royal biographer claims Prince Harry has looked as miserable as Edward VIII after stepping down from royal duties alongside his wife, Meghan Markle. Hugo Vickers, who has penned books about the Duke of Kent and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, claims both Harry and Edward VIII seem to radiate sadness after cutting ties with the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex resigned from their royal duties in 2020 in an alleged attempt to avoid media scrutiny and the pressures associated with being working royals. Similarly, the Duke of Windsor, who had previously been King of England, abdicated the throne in 1936 in order to marry American divorcee Wallace Simpson, a union that was opposed by the UK government. Although Edward VIII never admitted regret about his abdication, Mr. Vickers claims he had never seen anyone with such sad eyes as the former monarch. A royal biographer claims Prince Harry has looked as miserable as Edward VIII after stepping down from royal duties alongside his wife, Meghan Markle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are pictured together on September 10. Author Hugo Vickers claims both Harry and Edward VIII seem to radiate sadness after cutting ties with the royal family. Edward VIII and Wallace Simpson are pictured in 1966. I think the reason the Queen always had such sparkling eyes was because she dedicated herself to duty, Mr. Vickers said during a speech at the Henley Literary Festival, The Times reported. He alleged that Edward VIII took the path of perceived happiness by marrying Miss Simpson, but in the end it's duty that makes you happy. If you woke him up at 4 a.m. and asked if he had any regrets he would have said no, but if you want to know what he really thought, look at his eyes, the author said. Mr. Vickers argued that Prince Harry has also appeared unhappy after giving up his life as a working royal. As for the Duke of Sussex, who knows what's going to happen to him? I think he looks thoroughly miserable, he stated. The biographer also addressed New King Charles III's vision for a slimmed-down monarchy, alleging it is risky for the royal family. I don't know how you can have a slimmed-down monarchy because people do want to see them, he explained. The Queen and Prince Philip had about 2,000 organizations between them. You've lost Prince Andrew and Prince Harry. Mr. Vickers alleged that Edward VIII took the path of perceived happiness by marrying Miss Simpson, but in the end it's duty that makes you happy. Edward VIII is pictured giving his abdication broadcast to the nation in December 1936. Mr. Vickers argued that Prince Harry has also appeared unhappy after giving up his life as a working royal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are pictured together in June. Prince William, second right, Princess Kate, right, Prince Harry, left, and Meghan Markle, second left, are pictured at Westminster Hall on September 14 as they paid their respects to Queen Elizabeth II during her lying in state. Mr. Vickers' remarks came just days after Buckingham Palace released the first official picture of King Charles III with his queen consort, Camilla. By their side stands the Prince of Wales, his eldest son and heir, clearly a good deal taller than Charles, and the newly appointed Princess of Wales, his wife. The photograph is brimming with symbolism of course. The new sovereign is pictured with his son and heir, while looming behind them is a glowering portrait of King George III, the longest reigning male monarch in British history. But what is perhaps even more remarkable is that the picture was taken on the eve of the Queen's funeral, when our foremost senior royals were about to host a huge reception for visiting heads of state. The unspoken elephant in the room is the absence of the King's younger son, Harry. Three years ago, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would have had every expectation to be part of the family ensemble.